Hi guys, my name is Haven. If you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you're returning here, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate you. Um, so I don't know if you guys have heard of Milk 1422. It's a little bit of an odd name for what it is, but basically it is a Instagram account that has all these really awesome, over-the-top, like dreamy makeup drawings. I'll show you an example here. And one that really caught my eye was this one. Um, I don't know why that lip color was just screaming out at me. I think it might be because I have one so similar from Jeffree Star. It's called Breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, and so I feel like that lip color is really going to match. I also have a couple shimmers and uh, liquid eyeshadows that have purple tinges to them. So I'll probably be tapping into those today as well. So first and foremost, I'm just going to prime the face and the lids and I will be right back. Okay, so just to get just to get a closer look at this, it looks like she kind of has darker purple on the outer corner of her eyelid, and then it kind of like gradiently goes to lighter. Um, so I think I'm just gonna kind of get a transition color on the crease and kind of go from there. Okay, so I did not grab a transition color. I'm just gonna go in with my Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas. Um, my favorite transition color ever is in this palette. It's called Bomb Diggity. As you can tell, I've hit pan. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a little bit of color on the crease. So we have a little bit of warmth on the crease now. I didn't want to go too crazy because we are definitely sticking to purple vibes today. Um, so the shadows that I was referring to, this one in particular, I can tell is going to be the star of the show today. This is by Sydney Grace and it's called As If. And mm, it's so beautiful. Like, whoo. Another Sydney Grace product we're going to be using is actually her liquid shadow. It's called I Need a Vacation, and if you could see the color right there, it is so pretty. Okay, so I think we're just going to kind of build things up. Let's just start building. I think I'm also going to jump in with my Urban Decay Electric Palette. This color right here seems to be screaming out at me. So let me just go ahead and take one more glance at this photo, and let's get started. So just to give you guys one more glance. Okay, I'm just gonna take that that color I just mentioned to you in the um, Urban Decay palette. It's called Jilted. And I'm going to take the same brush that we use for our transition shade. And I'm just gonna kinda get a little bit of color on the outer crease. Wow, that's pretty. Oh, okay. So I think I'm gonna take this angled, tighter brush. I'm gonna go in with that Sydney Grace shade as if that I just showed you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of build up that corner a little bit more. I'm actually going to take the same exact brush with no additional product, and I'm just going to go ahead and smooth out some uneven edges and just kind of make sure everything looks blended. Okay, I'm actually going to go in with Laura Lee's color, um, Bomb Diggity, that transition shade we use, and I'm just going to tap a little bit back into that and just kind of make things a little bit more, give things a little bit more depth. I have learned that if all else fails, just keep on blending. I mean, I've been almost about to wash my face and I just thought, what if I blend a little bit more? And it turned out to be like one of my best looks. So if you guys are ever discouraged, just keep in mind, blending really does make a difference. Okay, so I can see that we definitely have some purple ass vibes here. This is what I was going for, so that's good. For the liquid shadow that I wanted to try um, by Sydney Grace, like I mentioned, it's called I Need a Vacation. And this stuff is unbelievable. Like, I just want to show you how big the bottle is. And then I want to show you this size dollop, how much that can actually give off. I mean, this is insane. Just keep in mind, this is the size of the dollop. And let's just show you how much that one baby dollop just did. Look at that. Wow, guys, this stuff is quite impressive. So I'm gonna go ahead and take like a little flat brush. I kind of just wanna hug that liquid shadow here on the inner crease. So I'm, I don't really know. I'm not like a huge liquid shadow person. So I think I'm just gonna put a little, I'm just gonna put a little bit on the brush. This is how much I'm putting, so you know I'm serious. Let's go ahead and keep that towards the inner lid. Wow, that looks pretty dreamy. <laughs> I guess I need to wait for it to dry. Like, I don't know. I'm not... I'm actually going to say this is probably the first time I've ever used a liquid shadow. No joke. Um, so I'm just going to kind of keep my eye like this until it dries, and then I'm going to do the other eye. 
Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and let things kind of dry and marry a little bit and I'll be back in like two minutes, so be right back. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually really pretty. It's not really my usual color scheme, but I really like it. Okay, so when I was in the Urban Decay Electric palette a few minutes ago, I noticed a darker purple and I didn't think I would be using that at all. Um, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm a fan of depth, so I want to just add a little bit more of depth to the outer corner, and we're going to hop in with the color Urban, which is a very, wow, it looks so incredibly blue on camera, but it's so, so purple in real life. That's a mind F. <laughs> so I'm going to use this brush, and I'm going to tap into Urban, and we're specifically keeping this on the outer corner. Okay, so we did add that color Urban in the outer crease. You guys, look how pretty this looks. Like, I'm not kidding. I'm a fan. Okay, let's take a look at this picture again. I forgot I was going off of a photo. Um, okay, so it looks as though she definitely has some sort of shimmer on the center of her lid. It also looks as though she's used a white liner on her waterline. I do have my NYX white liner here, so that's not an issue. In regards to the loose shimmer on her lid, I really do think I have like the perfect shade for that. Yes, I do. Look at this. It's by Sigma. It's called Astral Glitter. This stuff literally looks like fairy dust. I just want to show you. Wow. <laughs> okay. I am going to go ahead and get some setting spray because I don't trust this loose glitter, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I just grabbed the Circa Studio Time Makeup Setting Mist. I'm going to go ahead and spritz a flat brush. So this is now wet, and we're going to hop in with the Sigma Glitter, and I'm just going to specifically focus this on the center of my eyelid. Wow, look at that. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? <laughs> it's literally so beautiful. I don't want to put it on my lid. I just want to look right now and just, just stare. Okay, tap off the excess and go ahead and press it on the center. That is so pretty, my god. All right, so I'm spritzing again and going in on the other eye. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, this is so pretty. Ugh. I need to find a different choice of word at this point. Sorry, I don't do purple often, but I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and fill in my lower waterline with the white waterproof NYX eyeliner. So let's go ahead and do that. It's literally raining glitter up in here, FYI. Okay, so up next, I'm gonna hop in with Electricity. This is by Vanessa's Vanity. It's one of the most stunning shades ever, and I haven't had the chance to use it. It does have a green tinge to it, but I've, I don't feel like that's gonna show up. I, it's just really pretty. Like, I, I have confidence that it will give me what I'm looking for. So I'm going in with this little baby round brush here, and I noticed in the picture that she kind of like focuses the lighter shades on her inner corner. So, so let's go ahead and lighten up the inner corner. Let's see. I don't know guys, I feel like the green is really showing up to be honest. I thought for sure it wouldn't. Um, let me see if I have another color that's more, more white. Okay, this one's actually a highlighter by Sydney Grace. It's called Pink Mist. So that one has a tinge of pink to it. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and repeat what I just did with that green color and just kind of trace over it. Okay, so I think I'm looking a little cross-eyed right now. I don't know why. Sometimes if I put a lot of eye makeup on, I end up looking cross-eyed until I do eyeliner. It's a little bit of a beauty mystery, but I'm going to go ahead and toss on a very, very thin layer of black eyeliner. I don't know if she's wearing it in the photo, but I can't survive without it. I look naked, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I did put the eyeliner on and I really feel like it made a difference. Um, I obviously need to clean up a little bit of fallout and probably finish up my face um, to make everything look normal. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and toss on some foundation, setting powder, and then we're going to come back and chisel out the cheeks and we're going to add a lot of glitz and glimmer to those cheekbones. So I will be right back. Okay guys, so it's kind of amazing how much foundation and cleaning up of edges can really do because I feel like this looks pretty damn good. Um, so one thing I definitely need to do is smudge out my lower lash line. Typically I would go in with any sort of black that's available, um, but in this case we're not doing that. So I'm going in with the Urban Color here in the Electric Palette and a flat brush of course. And let's just go ahead and smudge out that lower lash line. 
are going to use that same brush and go back in with the Sydney Grace as if and just kind of trace that a little further towards the corner. And lastly, we're going back in with that highlighter called Pink Mist by Sydney Grace. And I'm just going to kind of make these corners pop a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just looking at the photo again. It looks like the eyes are looking pretty good, actually. Um, I think that once I put on mascara, it'll really seal the deal, but we are saving that for last. While I'm on the eyes, I'm actually going to take my white liner, and I'm going to go ahead and trace it again in the waterline. I just want to make sure the intensity is there. Okay, and now we are going to go in with some bronzer. I'm going to use the Lorac Bronzer in Sun Days, and I'm just going to chisel at that cheekbone in with the Physicians Formula Butter Blush. The color is Natural Glow and we're giving ourselves a natural glow. I'm going to go in with highlighter of course but first I wanted to place a little bit of the highlighter on my upper brow bone there just kind of make things pop a little bit. So I'm going back in with Pink Mist from Sydney. Wow guys. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but toot toot. <laughs> now is the moment. I have not yet used this highlighter on my actual cheeks, so I've been using this like crazy on my eyes, um, and here goes nothing. So again, it's Pink Mist by Sydney Grace. Oh my god. Woo! Girl. Do you see that? Wow. This is so effing pretty, guys. This highlighter, I can't stop applying it. <laughs> okay, stop. So let's just take a glimpse. I mean, first let's look at the picture. So this is a photo I'm trying to copy here. So these are the eyes that I have come up with. And I think that the actual face and the eyes and everything looks pretty good actually. Um, I think the last step is obviously going to be the lipstick that we discussed in the beginning, which is Breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, so without further ado, let's toss on Breakfast at Tiffany's. <gasps> I don't know if I just ruined everything or what I've done. All right, so last step, mascara. So let me just toss on my mascara and we will come back and look at the finished look. <laughs> okay guys, I have to say this is very, very, very wild for me, but I kind of love the colors. Like it just screams cheerfulness and brightness and wow, it's just pretty. <laughs> so I just want to give you a side-by-side -side visual of this look. I will be showing you a little bit of a better copy of this photo. Um, I am aware that you're not able to see it very well. There's a glare. Um, so this is my side-by-side. -side. Um, I feel like I should probably like pull some strings of hair down around my face like just to kind of complete the whole vibe um but other than that i mean gosh i don't know guys what do you think <laughs> anyway so let me go ahead and throw down some strings of hair and we will come back and look at everything in its entirety together okay guys so i've officially pulled down strings of hair and I feel like I am done. I, honest to God, am really pleased with this look. It was all just for fun and games, of course, just like everything on this channel is, but I kind of feel a sense of accomplishment, like I'm kind of into it. <laughs> Here's your official side-by-side -side comparison of me and the Milk 1422 post that I'm copying. I think I did pretty good. What do you guys think? Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was definitely a little bit outside of my norm, um, but I've kind of been away from makeup for a little too long, so I wanted to hop back in the, into the makeup scene, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and let me know what you thought down below in the comments. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, guys!